Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian Mom Cooking. So today I'm going to show you all how to cook mutton curry in a clay pot. So uh, for the ingredients we need about 750 grams of mutton with bones and this much cup of uh, small onions that are finely chopped and uh, two to three big sized tomatoes that are finely chopped and whole spices like star anise, green cardamom, bay leaves, cinnamon, uh, two to three cloves and nutmeg and few curry leaves, coriander leaves that are finely chopped and one spoon of plain chili powder, one spoon of Kashmiri chili powder and stems of coriander leaves that are finely chopped and few coconuts that are finely chopped and uh, this is uh, poppy seeds like one spoon of poppy seeds, half spoon of cumin seeds and half spoon of fennel seeds and one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste one spoon of turmeric powder, one spoon of cumin powder, one spoon of pepper powder and one and a half spoon of coriander powder and salt to taste and as well as uh, today I'm going to use refined oil it's up to your choice you can use any oil so first we are going to dry roast half spoon of cumin seeds half spoon of fennel seeds and one spoon of poppy seeds for about three minutes on medium flame so make sure to stir it continuously or otherwise it will get burnt so you just need to stir it like this for three minutes on medium flame until they release their aroma you will get a fantastic aroma from out of it So make sure to stir it continuously so yes after three minutes you can see uh, it has changed to like a golden color brown color now uh, we are going to take a handful of coconut that are finely chopped and uh, these in dry, dry roasted ingredients and blend in a mixture with a little bit of water initially and a lot of water uh, like this it comes up to a half a cup of mixture and in a clay pot we are going to add about two tablespoon of refined oil to that we are going to add one star anise few bay leaves one uh, half an inch of cinnamon one star anise one green cardamom and three to four cloves and a few curry leaves and uh, followed by a cup full of uh, small onions that are finely chopped not so finely chopped so I just took a small onion and cut it into two to three pieces Stir it continuously. Keep the flame on medium. And we are going to add in about a half spoon of salt so that the onion releases its moisture and cooks faster. Stir it again. And we are going to uh, add about a few stems of coriander uh, that are finely chopped at this stage. So this gives you a lot of aroma to the curry. So the stems should be added initially so stir it again and we are going to cover the lid and cook it for about three minutes or until the onions are softened and now we are going to add about one spoon of ginger garlic paste here and cook for about two minutes with the lid closed on medium flame and after two to three minutes you can see the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste have gone and now it's time to add in all the powder masalas so make sure to keep the flame on sim and start adding the powder masalas so as this is a non-veg recipe i'll be adding a lot of turmeric powder like i've added uh, i'm going to add about one spoon of turmeric powder followed by one spoon of uh, plain red chili powder and one spoon of uh, red i mean kashmiri red chili powder and then followed by one spoon of cumin powder and one spoon of pepper powder and one to one and a half spoon of coriander powder so make sure to keep the flame on medium sorry make sure to keep the flame on sim or low and stir it for a minute so stir it just for a minute and i'm going to add in the chopped up tomatoes so I've taken about two to three large size tomatoes that are finely chopped. You can very well blend these tomatoes. And again stir it continuously. Now keep the flame on medium. And cover the lid and cook it for about three to five minutes or until the tomatoes are soft and squishy. So after 4 to 5 minutes you can see the tomatoes are soft and squishy. You can see the oil separating from the mixture. It indicates that the base is ready. Now I'm going to add in about 750 grams of washed mutton pieces. 
so i've just washed it many times with plenty of water now mix all together gently so i've taken uh, bones and as well as the pieces of mutton together stir it until all the masalas are blended well with each piece of mutton make sure it is coated well now it's up to your choice you can add uh, as much water you want here i'm going to add about a glass of water if you want too liquidy you can very well add one and a half cu cup or one and a half glass so again i'm just going to stir it gently and i have to cook this for about 20 to 25 minutes as the mutton pieces are small it takes about 20 to 25 minutes for me if the pieces are large it takes about 30 to 40 minutes on medium flame and uh, i just stirred it continuously for a minute and i'm going to close the lid cook it for 20 to 25 minutes and uh, stirring it occasionally in between so now it's been 20 to 25 minutes my pieces of mutton are very tender and it's well cooked now it's time to add in the salt you can add required salt of your choice and now I'm going to add in the blended coconut mixture that we have made initially with poppy seeds. We have dry roasted the poppy seeds, human seeds and the fennel seeds and uh, added to the coconut pieces and blended with a lot of water. So I'm just going to add them and stir it for a minute. And uh, my, our mutton curry is almost ready. We are just going to add finely chopped coriander leaves at the end. So uh, you can taste for seasoning. If you uh, want more salt, you can add it at this stage. So now I'm going to add finely chopped coriander leaves. And I'm going to close the lid for 3 minutes on medium flame. So this is how simple easy it is to make clay pot mutton curry. You can very well uh, use the same procedure to make it in a pressure cooker or in a kadai. So I've just closed the lid and uh, cooked this for 3 minutes. So after 3 minutes you can see the mutton curry is absolutely ready. So this is how we make clay pot mutton curry or in Tamil they will call it as mutton kolambu. So you will be getting an awesome aroma. And it tastes delicious. So I hope you like this recipe. So if you like this recipe, give me a big thumbs up. And if you are still new to my channel, click on that red subscribe button and join my family. And I hope you all like my recipe. And please do try it this weekend. And let me know in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.